Select the cube and press Ctrl 2 to add the subdivision modifier. Go into edit mode and extrude out the top part, then scale it down. Add another level to the subdivision modifier. Now add another cube for the roof tiles. Scale it around to the right size. And then extrude out the bottom part and angle it. Add two loop cuts with Ctrl R and bevel the outer edges. Now add an array modifier and change the count to 6. Tap out of edit mode and hit apply. Go back into edit mode and use the knife tool to cut out triangles from the roof tiles. Repeat this with the other tiles in random intervals. Now delete the faces you want to cut out, and then fill in the openings. Lastly, you can go into Rioframe mode and randomize the distance between the vertices a little bit. Now add a simple deform modifier, set it to bend and the angle to 360 degrees and the axis to Z. Go back into edit mode and angle the roof tiles. Copy, copy the roof tiles with Shift D and apply the modifier. Then place it atop the building. Go back into edit mode of the original roof tile and delete the last two roof tiles. Then apply the modifier again and place it. Now repeat that process for the last roof tile. To close up the middle, select all the vertices, press M, and merge them at the center. Now select all three parts of the roof, and press Ctrl J to join them. Then add a bevel modifier to the roof. Now you can right click on the object to set the shade to auto smooth. Copy the roof in the building and move it to the side. Now repeat it for the other side. For the ground, add another cube and press Ctrl 3 to add three subdivision levels. Now scale it to the right size. Press 1 to go into front view and edit the circle. In the bottom left corner, change the alignment to view and then scale down the circle. Now delete the bottom half of the circle. Select the bottom two vertices, extrude them out and scale them down. Then connect the vertices with F, select all and fill in the faces. After that, press I to inset. Alt select the outer ring and extrude it out. Then select the edges and bevel them. Select the edge on the back side and move it back on the y axis. Add loop cuts to the bottom of the door frame and then with the knife tool connect the bottom to the top.
select the interfaces, insert them with I, and pull them out on the Y axis. Now go into side view and rotate the door so it doesn't slip through the egg. Now I'll select segments of the arch in random intervals. Extrude them out along the normals and then bevel them. Repeat this with the rest of the segments, but vary the amount you extrude the segments with. Set the cursor to the left side of the door and add a torus for the doorknob. Now scale it down and rotate it. Go back into front view and add another circle for the window. Press E to extrude and then scale it down. Select all and extrude out. Now bevel the edges to round the window. Extrude out the back and select one of the inner edges to create a face for the window glass. Add another cube for the crossbar and scale it down. Alt select the faces and then extrude the individual faces with Alt E. Extrude out the front face. And then copy and place the windows around the house. Set the shade to smooth and bevel the crossbars of the windows. Add another cube and subdivide it. Add an array modifier. And then a simple deform modifier that you set to bend 360 degrees on the z-axis. Adjust the count of the array so it fits nicely around the house. Copy the stone circle for the other two houses. From the grass add another cube and subdivide it. Scale it down to the size of a grass blade. Then add some loop cuts with Ctrl R and scale down the top face. Turn on proportional editing and move the top face on the x axis. Scale the grass blade down, copy and rotate it. Then place it around the ground.
for the walkway, add another cube, subdivide it and scale it down on the z-axis. Add some loop cuts, go into wireframe mode and pull the vertices around to make the shape of a stone tile. Copy the tile and vary the size and shape of the tiles. Then go into side view and make sure the tiles aren't floating above the ground. For the fence, edit another cube and scale it down. Scale the top face on the y-axis and then extrude out another face and scale it down on the y-axis. Add an array, adjust the offset and set the count to 3. For the crossbar, add another cube and scale it to the right size. To make the fence bend, add a simple deform modifier and set it to bend on the z-axis. Here you can see that the crossbar isn't bending properly. This is because there isn't enough subdivisions, so we have to go back into edit mode and add some loop cuts. Lastly, we're going to add a plane for the backdrop. Now you can split the viewport. Set the left viewport to rendered mode and remove all the icons. Now set the render engine to the cycles and if you have one, the device to GPU. Decrease the sample size and enable the denoiser. Now you can move the light around and adjust the radius and power so it fits the scene. I added a second light for edge lighting and used a yellow tint. For the textures I'm just going into the material tab and add a new material for every new color I'm adding. In this case I'm only adjusting the base color and sometimes the roughness if I want to get rid of some reflections. The windows are going to have two colors, so I'm first adding the color of the window frame and then press on this plus sign to add a second material. This material I will set to a dark blue and the roughness to zero. Then I go into edit mode and select all the faces with the window glass. Then in the right side menu I select the second material and hit assign. For the drawer I will use the same process making the frame into the stone material and then selecting all the wood parts.
I then switch into material view to add some patterns to the X using the same method. But because we used a subdivision modifier, there isn't enough geometry for us to work with. Therefore, I'll apply the subdivision modifiers first. For the center egg, I'm adding two stripes and some dots in the middle. For the dots, I'm selecting every second face in the middle row, and then copy it with Shift D and separate it with P. Then add a subdivision modifier, change the color, and move them so they are above the other part of the house. I use the same method to add stripes to the other two eggs. Then I'm placing a few small eggs in the garden. Finally, I'm changing up the colors a bit. And then we're done. Here's my result. If you follow the tutorial, I would love to see yours. Thank you for watching and happy Easter, everyone. Bye.